The P-51 Mustang, like the radio control model I have behind me, is my all-time favorite airplane. It's the World War II fighter. It's the Cadillac of the skies at the time. And I thought it would be kind of fun to try to recreate one element of the P-51, and actually all of the World War II fighters, which was to create in my own little full-scale model, my Sonics, a way of shooting at, uh, well, whatever, in the sky, using the same kind of elements that the P-51 had for, for targeting. And that was what was called the K-14 Leak Computing Gun Sight, which was available even throughout or mo most of the World War II. So I did it on my uh, cell phone. I wrote a program that works on the, uh, on the cell phone and created a little heads-up display. So let's just go up in the air right away uh, and I'll show you a demo of it and then maybe afterwards I can tell you more details about how it works. Vapor traffic, uh, Sonic 694, Charlie Sierra, departing 18 Vapor. Okay, we're in the air. Gun sight is armed. Guns are armed. Make a left turn towards the prairie and the golf course. Okay, so I'm going to explain kind of what I'm doing here. This is the uh, wingspan of the aircraft, the target aircraft that we're aiming for. So that's 37 feet. Then we can adjust the target aircraft distance from us. You can see that's like uh, 1,900 feet and 1,700 feet and so forth all the way up to. So it gets smaller and smaller as you get farther and farther out. Let's fire a test first, make sure we're going. Yep. Get some bullets going out into the sunset. There's not much lead necessary here at all. In fact, all the lead is dependent upon turn rate, right? So the faster we turn, the more lead is required to be computed and the farther out that the aircraft that we're shooting at is. All right, let's just see, uh, go ahead and try a couple of turns here and see if uh, the lead computing gun sight works. I'm going to slow down a little bit just because I'm going to pull a lot of G's otherwise. It'll slow down anyway once I get rolling. Doesn't really. It comes to itself. Do it. To the south, I'm going to find the field at 2,000. So we're pulling just right at 2 G's right here. Coming back out of it. Hey, it did work. Now, so if I was tracking an aircraft, I'll make a left turn here, we'll do the same thing. Pretend like we're tracking an aircraft. I wish there was somebody around here I could shoot at. And I can fire now. We got them. Come back around again. at uh
Okay. Okay, so you got an idea how it works. Um, so this is how it goes in the airplane. I'll just kind of pan around and show it to you here. Uh, it sticks on the panel on the top. As you can see, this pole here is nothing more than a way of holding my camera. So you basically, so you've got the eyeball view, the same as we would have on the, uh, if we were actually shooting. And so if I can actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the program here. There it is. Now notice everything on the, on the panel there is backwards. Why is it backwards? Because when it gets reflected in the sight, it's correct. Anyway, so that's kind of how it works. It uses the sensors of the phone. In order to actually shoot, you basically have to uh, fire, uh, use this uh, Xbox controller to do the shooting. And you can use the Xbox controller to adjust the wingspan and the target. So you have to have that in the cockpit with you. So that's it. So hopefully one day I'll put it on the uh, Google Store and we'll see how it goes.